I bless the Lord for you, my viewer, from wherever you are watching, and uh, thanking God for this great month of October that is coming to an end today. Today being Saturday, I thank God for joining me, and uh, thank God for an opportunity that is given us throughout the month, an opportunity for prayer, for fasting, an opportunity that is given us throughout this week, declaring and decreeing on behalf of uh, various uh, areas of our lives individually as a church as a, as a nation and uh, seeking the reign of god and so friends today we are bringing this to an end we are crowning everything we are talking about we are reminding ourselves of what we've been talking about throughout the week throughout the week decreeing and declaring remembering the authority that the lord has exposed to us as revealed to us as believers and so as we come to the end of uh, the week on saturday i also would like to remind us that tomorrow being on sunday we are going to crown our prayers and fasting and tomorrow together in church we will be having a thanksgiving service that i encourage you that we take part and we offer thanks to god who saw us through the very first day of the month and has continued with us to till the end and so friends it is my it is my greatest pleasure to invite you to walk with me as we remind ourselves as we crown out this decreeing and declaring over our lives of our families over our churches over our nation that uh, god is uh, 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 bringing in us a culture that we will always remember that as we seek him in prayer and fasting he's also given us authority to decree to declare on behalf of uh, all these areas that we are mentioning before him so let us start with the word of prayer because uh, the lord has been gracious to us let's pray lord you are gracious you've uh, been faithful in every way and as we come to the end of this month lord we acknowledge who you've been to us and we acknowledge your power even spiritual power that has worked in us throughout this month throughout this week lord we bless you as we crown every other thing with regards to decreeing and declaring exercising that authority that you've given us Lord, we give you praise and we ask that you be part of our reflection today because, Lord, it is a day of prayer, a day of fasting. And, Lord, you are leading us to decree and declare such that, Lord, your name be glorified. This we pray as we start in Jesus' name. Amen. And so, friends, the week is coming to an end. And uh, we are, as, as I started by saying, we want to align ourselves and we are decreeing and declaring that we will align ourselves to the will of god for us in our churches in our individual life in our church in our nation and uh, in, in 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 all this that the reign of god is what we are going to enjoy and friends what a what a what a beautiful what a great revelation that god has actualized in our lives as, as his people and uh, just as we have been uh, speaking through over, through over the week about the authority that Christ has given us to bring down strongholds, and so he's also reminding us to use the same authority to decree and declare before him all of this great and, 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 and marvelous power that is at work in our lives through Jesus Christ. And so, uh, we, we, as we said earlier, and so I would like to remind us this day as we crown our, our prayer of declaration and decreeing before our Lord that uh, a stronghold is uh, that thought, incorrect thought, pattern that uh, come, that the devil has molded within us that uh, make us to think on the way of the devil. A stronghold is that pattern that incorrect thought or thought pattern that the devil is molding or that he comes with in our lives and mold you know that make us uh, get out of the truth the truth of the lord and so uh, we we are uh, this uh, these uh, patterns these thoughts are capable of affecting our feelings they are capable of uh, of uh, making our responses on uh, various situation be in tuned with with what the devil wants for for you and, and, and for my, myself and so uh, we we know that as we decree 
and declare that we belong to the Lord and as we order and as we are, as we request the Lord to to order the the, the devil of our lives that uh, we are uh, by extension partake, partaking of that larger role that God has given us and achieving our spiritual freedom that is what we are achieving at the end of the day and and friends as we come to the end of our prayer today let us uh, thank god and seek god for allowing us achieve that spiritual freedom that uh, he is giving us today that uh, even satan would not his knowledge and his uh, plans and schemes would not have a place in our lives because we know that the plans of of the devil is to deny us that intimacy that we need with our God, that intimate relationship. That is what is in the business of uh, curtailing. He would not want us to, to realize that, uh, that fellowship that we, we should have with God. And friends, as we go before the Lord today and decreeing and declaring our victory, our freedom, spiritual freedom that we are achieving or that we have achieved throughout the week, let us remember that uh, the, 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 the schemes, the strongholds of the devil are made to curtail that intimate relationship. Let us seek God and ask him to always release his spirit that we would uh, we'll enjoy that fellowship that we have with him. The devil is in the business to deny us the knowledge of, uh, of ourselves. That lovely way that or the loveliness that God has placed within us, the devil would want to curtail that. That excellent personality or excellence in our personality that reflects the image of God, that is what the devil is stealing away from, from you and myself. And so, friends, I want to just remind us that there are biblical ways that have been provided for us to bring down such strongholds. And, and this text has really blessed us and uh, been a very point of reference as we think through bringing down strongholds. And this, uh, this is what Paul says that I would like to call our attention to as we read Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verses 4, that Paul writes this, that the weapons we, we fight with are not weapons of the world. This text, we've, we've used it quite a lot. On the contrary, they are divine power to demolish stronghold. And today I just, just would like to pick that part that says uh, uh, to the, the, they are divine power to demolish strongholds. And uh, by extension, uh, uh, casting down those kind of imaginations, well, that is what he's going to... That is what he says down there, casting out those kind of imagination, bringing down, you know, casting down the power that he has given us is divine such that it would bring down such kind of strongholds. And so friends, number one is that assurance that uh, those imaginations and philosophies that come from the devil, whatever power that God has given us, is able to bring down such. And how do we do that? Maybe that would be the question that we can still uh, be asking. I would like to remind us of Romans 12 and verses 2, where Paul speaks to the Romans and tells them not to conform to the patterns of the world and by that they be transformed by the renewal of their spirits. And so this, this, this day, I just want to remind us that yes, we can achieve to bring down these strongholds when we do not conform to the patterns of the world. And so that is, that is, that is a, one of the areas that I would like to, to encourage us, that the very first thing that we need to do is that we have to refuse to conform. We re refuse to conform to the patterns of the world, as Paul says, such that, that we, 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 we prove or rather disarm what is uh, the good will of, of, of God acceptable will of God. That is what Paul says. And so we should be in a position of pr approving that, that good, that acceptable will of God in our lives. So friends, as we go before the Lord and decreeing, let us ask God to help us uh, approve, uh, identify this good will of God, that acceptable will of God, and uh, seek God to help us discern them and walk in them as we also strive not to conform to the patterns of this world such that we we i i, I, will, I would like to call our attention even to dis dissociate ourselves from from past 
from past mistakes, allow our minds to be renewed, you know, such that uh, this stronghold would come down, you know, we'll bring them down through the help of God. They will be able, so that we can be able to see the will of God and respond to that will. Today, as we decree and declare, let us identify the will of God in our lives and also respond to that will, because it is in so doing that we are going to allow ourselves to be transformed and be renewed and and as, as we thank God tomorrow let us be a people who are transformed from within people who are renewed that as we come before the Lord and offering thanks to him he is a, we have we have for sure identified the will and are responding to that will in our life so also just to help us or to remind us of how, how, how can our minds be renewed and be cleansed. Yes, Paul in Ephesians, he says this, and, and I would like to read for us this as we crown our day in Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5, Paul writes this to, the, to this church, chapter 26 through to 20, 27. Paul writes this. To make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word. And verses 27. And to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish but holy and blameless and so how can we get renewed paul gives us gives us a revelation that i would like also to send us out with as we continue decreeing and declaring that uh, god achieved or jesus christ achieves renewal of our of our lives and, and and cleansing us for god through washing with the word you know so i i want to remind us of uh, the word of God that we need to decree and declare that should continue this activity of cleansing and renewal and sanctification that it does in our lives and so our minds should be transformed and that the strongholds of our lives uh, in our churches in our nation in our families would be brought down because there is, we have the word of God, that this word of God is what is going to, we are going to anchor our faith upon as a nation, as a family, that whenever we find ourselves uh, not walking into the principles, not walking into beliefs that have been uh, given to us through the Bible, that we would get back to the real word of God. This is the word of God that has, 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 has with it power to wash us. This is what Jesus Christ left for us. And so I want just to remind us as we decree and declare, may, the, may we dwell more in the word of God, that the word of God would, uh, would release its power of cleansing, sanctifying us, of renewing us for the Lord that uh, we are going to spend a lot of time as we meditate upon that word, such that that word will wash our minds and correct our false thinking. Friends, we have a duty today as we come to the end that we want to bring all these things together and as we uh, individually seek God and continue decreeing that uh, the will of God for us be takes its center stage, that the, the will of God in our church, in our nation, that the will of the reign of God be what we, we enjoy. Let us remember that the word of God, friends, the word of God is what God has re left for us for our renewal, for our cleansing, for our sanctification, that as we decree that this word will live in us, that we will keep meditating, we will keep spending more time even in the word of God. May God bless you and may God bless his word as we go forth and as we partake of this day, the very last day of the month, the very last day of our prayer and fasting, such that tomorrow we are going to open the fast as we thank God and as we join together as a church, giving glory to his mighty and holy name. Let's wind it up with a word of prayer. Jesus, we want to thank you, our Lord and our God, and we acknowledge who you are in our lives. We do not take it for granted, Lord, that throughout this week and throughout the month, Lord, you've stood by our side. That, Lord, as you were partaking of prayers and even fasting, that, Lord, as we have been uh, 
seeking you in various ways and means that you have revealed to us that Lord even throughout this week you, the means of declaring and decreeing before you Lord we thank you we thank you because you have guarded us against any danger and accidents during a time like this and we bless you because your reign is with us we are sure we are convinced we are aware that we are now walking in your reign as a church at individual level as families even as a nation that lord you have provided us all this grace jehovah lord to seek and decree as we declare that lord we belong to you now take your place take your place in our lives going forward that this activity that this tradition be what father lord we are walking in to the glory and honor of your name we bless you lord and we thank you this we pray in jesus name amen